All right, let's look at this algebra question. Okay, for this question, uh, what we have is we have a expression over here. Okay, subtracting a, another expression. All right, whenever you have a negative sign in front of a bracket, we have to be very careful because when this negative sign multiplies inside the bracket, uh, things will change. All right, so what uh, do we do now? We first uh, deal with the first uh, bracket over here. So you can see that this minus 6z square plus 7z minus 4, there is no change because in front of this bracket, there is uh, no number or sign. It's basically, of course, if you don't see a sign, by default, it's a positive sign, correct? And since positive uh, multiplied by negative or positive does not change anything, we do not need to worry about the first bracket. For the second bracket, uh, since it's a negative, we need to be very careful. So the first uh, multiplication here will be the negative and this negative. So negative and negative will become a positive. So 10z square, this negative and this negative will become positive. 3z, okay? And this negative and this negative will also become positive, plus 4. All right? Now that we have done this, we can group uh, the terms together based on uh, the whether they are z square z or constant all right for the z square you can see that i have a negative 6 z square and plus 10 z square so plus 10 and minus 6 would give me a plus 4 so it's 4 z square now for the uh, z you have a plus 7 z and plus 3z so that will give me a plus 10z okay and uh, finally all right for the uh, constant we have a negative 4 over here and plus 4 over here all right so negative 4 and plus 4 will be 0 correct so this uh, so the constant is no longer there and this is your final answer all right of course if you want to simplify it or uh, factorize it you can factorize out the z so you have 4 z plus 10 all right so this is your final answer for question one okay from our section on algebra all right thank you